Hello friends, if you are excited to write your first PHP program, then watch this video to start your PHP programming. I will show you two simple PHP programs in this video. PHP program runs in the server. So you need a web server to run the PHP program. You can use your computer as a local server by installing XAMPP or WAMP. If you have not installed XAMPP or WAMP or if you do not know how to install them, please watch my video how to make your computer a local host server for PHP development. You can see the link in the description of this video. Second thing you need a good editor for writing the code. You can use Notepad++ or Sublime Text Editor for writing the PHP code. I like Sublime Text Editor so I will show you my code using Sublime Text Editor. Friends, please subscribe this channel so that you can watch all the videos to know the solution of all your how-to questions as a web developer. Also, do not forget to click or tap on the bell icon to get a notification for a new video. So let us write a program to print hello world. So here in case of PHP, code starts with less than question mark PHP and ends with question mark greater than. So whatever code is there within this, it will be treated as PHP code. So echo is to print or display something on the screen. So let us save it first. I am saving this in a folder called PHP within my hdocs folder. So let us save it as my program one. Extension should be PHP. Before running the PHP program, make sure in your XAM control panel, make sure these two services are running before running the PHP program. So now let us run this program. Open your browser and type localhost slash PHP slash my program one dot PHP and enter. You can see hello world is printed here. So our program is running fine. Now let us change this program a little bit. So I am creating a variable dollar name and assigning the value as John. You can see I am printing my name is and then I am printing the value of dollar name here. You can see a dot. This little dot is used for concatenation. So you output should be my name is John. So let us save this program. I'm saving in the same program and then let us see the output. So just enter here. You can see the output is printed here. Now let us write another program. So in this program, we'll print even numbers from one to 20 using PHP code and we'll use PHP code within HTML code. Let me save this first. Let us name it as myprogram2.php. So here we want to print the event numbers from 1 to 20. So I am writing the PHP code first here within a for loop from 1 to 20. You know the event numbers. If we divide by 2 and the remainder is 0, then the number is an event number. So you can see I am here we are using a loop from 1 to 20 and dividing it the number by 2. So if remainder is 0, I am printing the number. So let's run this program. So I'll just change it to 2 and then enter. It's printing the event number but output is not easily readable. So let us change a little bit. Let us print comma in between. We need to print comma so I use a concatenate operator and then comma. Save it and then run it again. So now you can see it's printing the comma and you can clearly read this. You can see that there is a comma at the end. We don't want this in the output. So we have to remove this. So here we'll use a if statement. So for the last number, we do not want the comma. So if dollar i equal to 20 echo dollar i else echo dollar i dot comma. So you can now see that comma is removed here. Now here we'll do some 
formatting or we will give some CSS property here so that these are printed in proper format in the middle in the center of the screen and with a increased font size. So we will add HTML code here. You can see the PHP code is here within this less than question mark PHP and question mark greater than and outside is, is HTML code. Let us first write some title here. So now let us save, save it and run it again. You can see it is showing the title h1, h2 and then output of PHP code here. So now let us give some style here. Run it again. You can see these are showing in the center of the screen. Now we want this also to be centered. So let us put some HTML tag here. Let us put it in a paragraph P tag and then add a style for P. Give some font size and color also. Now let us run it. So you can see the output is coming in the proper format. So here you can see we have used PHP code within the HTML code and we can see the desired output also here. So this way you can write your PHP program. So this is working as per our requirement. So this was really easy, isn't it? If you have some programming knowledge, you can easily start PHP coding today itself. This was just to show you how you can write PHP code. There are many more to learn for PHP. Many free websites are available to learn PHP. Hope this video was helpful for you. For detailed step-by-step -step guide about this topic, you can visit my website httpscodehowto.com. You can read many how-to topics for your web development. You can download all the codes free. You do not need to register yourself. Thank you for watching the video.